Twisted Metal, the only game that has a failed ice cream man that has a fascination with clowns. I mean, even if you haven't played the games, you know not to get in this clown's truck. Twisted Metal is a game that focuses on driving fast, shooting rockets, and well, destroying everything in your way. With the new Twisted Metal series, which is terrific by the way, it was time to revisit these classic games. We won't be earning just two Platinums, but also take on the darkest Twisted Metal game from the PlayStation 2 generation, Twisted Metal Black. Even though this franchise scared me as a kid, you could say I'm a big fan. So what are we waiting for? Let's burn some rubber and go into this crazy world where your ice cream truck can turn into a mech. As expected, booting this game up, we had some trouble with the controls. Twisted Metal 1 released in 1995, so we had to get adjusted. Dude, is my controller busted or something? What is going on? Oh, can't hide from me. So destroy all Calypso crates in the arena dual level. Okay, so that's our first uh, trophy, a silver trophy. This game is loaded with silver trophies, by the way. It's insane. Oh, resourceful driver. Collect five weapons in any level. Hey, there we go. Oi, pump them full of lead. Defeat an opponent with the machine gun. Okay, cool. Oh, the beginning of the end. Level one. Complete level one arena duel. Oh, okay, so this is the next level. It just jumps you straight in, doesn't it? Ignoring that we've got a different car because we died, we got into the second level and we got ourselves another trophy. Eliminate a car in the warehouse district warfare level. You shouldn't have parked there. Bumper's still alive. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Yep, done. See you later. All right. Not here to deliver for level two, district warfare. Oh, this is what charges your health up. Okay. Oh my God. What is going on? This is chaos. No. Getting a real taste of what the game is actually like with the difficulty, I decided to change characters once again. To my surprise, Warthog had a higher defense and he made it so much easier to go through the game. Hey, defeat an opponent with a collision damage. If you can't beat them, ram them. Yeah, that's pretty fair. As we were now using Warthog, we breezed through the previous levels. Getting up to where we were, we managed to get another trophy. Hey, what was that for? I think I was going through a barrier. Blast through a roadworks site on the freeway, free for all level. Am I fighting someone else? Oh, she is wrecking me, dude. I think that was it. Man, with no surprise, I died once again. This game is actually pretty hard. We managed to get back to the home screen. We found a feature that was going to help us through this playthrough. What is rewind? Oh, that's so... What? I've been just trying to get back to the first part of the level every time. So you get a rewind feature. That's crazy. That's so handy that you got the rewind feature, dude. I love that. Highway to Carnage. Okay. I don't feel so bad now. I thought it was going to be a little bit harder, but now that you have the rewind feature, that's just going to make it so much easier. Done, dude, look how much health I have left. Oh, it was so frustrating. Oh, water is for people, not for cars. Complete level four, River Park Rumble. I'm getting into it now. At the start, it was pretty hard. Well, it wasn't hard, but it was just a bit of a struggle trying to make the adjustment. I think one of the trophies is shooting a van, but... I could be wrong. Let me just shoot the van. I don't know if that's going to do anything. All right. I destroyed it. Is it destroying? All oh, nope. There it is. Eliminate your van and assault on... I can't pronounce that, but this level, essentially. There's Hammerhead. Hammerhead's dead. Nice. Then we've got Spectre. So there's a trophy for knocking someone off the map or getting knocked off the map yourself. I'm just going to see if it works because we're pretty much dead anyway. There I go. Oh, whoa. Oh. Pyramid secret. Okay, destroy the pyramid on the rooftop combat level. I'm just trying to find health. All right, so that's how you find it. You have to destroy it. That makes so much more sense. All right, Hammerhead is the last one. Look how much health I have. One shot. You have made it to the final rounds. Oh, watch the edge now. Complete level six rooftop combats. Prepare to battle minion. Oh, no way. Oh, dude, I've got no health. I need to get back to the pyramid. <laughs> oh my God. I just don't think this is possible. What the hell was that? Oh, no. That is shocking. And then within that time, he just obliterates me, dude. With only having one life left and our rewind feature not being able to save us, we decided to take a break to cool off and try again the next day. All right, let's go. Round two. Let's see if we can defeat him. We've got two lives this time. I made sure of it. Oh, my lord. Minion, calm down, dude. I just want this, I just want this trophy. Let me live. Go away! Oh, dude, is this trying to get in range? He's coming in, he's here. Come on, come on. 
Come on, use the power once. Nice, nice, nice. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. Come on. Yes, yes, yes. You have won the Temp Twister Medal com competition. Thank you for the memories. Complete the final round and defeat Minion. Man, that was a bit tougher than I thought it would be. And there's loading screen. Oh, to protect and serve. That is for collect your winning prize as Warthog. All right, now we need to get to the next part where we've got to win the Twisted Metal series with every car. Now, you're probably going to say, like, that's going to take absolutely forever. Yes, it would if you were to do it naturally. But if you go into options with that car, you can do the password. Password is square, triangle, X, circle, X. Press start. That will apply for that car. You've got it on easy. We'll go exit. And then when we begin our battle, straight to the rooftop, the final battle. So this is going to save so much time doing this with all the cars, which I'm probably going to skip to right now because you've seen what the boss is and how he fights. And we've got to get to our next part of the, the video. So once I get this done, I'll skip through and then get onto Twisted Metal 2. We are back. We have done all the levels with every character except Mr. Grimm. One more time. He is almost dead. Platinum is in our hand. Done. Minion has been defeated for the final time. Hey, the bell tolls for Calypso. Defeating him, Mr. Grimm. And then Twisted Champion. The Platinum Trophy for Twisted Metal 1. Yeah, this is where they changed the design. And he uh, had the full set of flames on his hair. So, Tournament Challenge Mode. I'm assuming Tournament will be the first one we need to do. Oh, yeah. Look at all the details. And it's all updated and stuff. Got all the new characters too. There's Hammerhead. Outlaw 2. Oh, okay. We got Warthog. Mr. Grimm. Oh, okay. So we've got a different layout on the map. Awesome. Oh, dude. I can already tell like this a bit more than the first one. Don't get me wrong. I loved number one. But just the updated graphics and like they've added a lot more too. Now, I think there is... I just ran over someone. I think there's a trophy for collecting six items. One more for the collection. Collect five pickups on any level. Their controls are a lot tighter too. I really rate this. Destroy them with that. I'm going to see if that's a trophy. I don't know if it is. Oh, hot shot. It is a trophy. Defeat an opponent with the machine gun. And you got turbo. The flame comes out of the side. This is so cool, bro. Remote. Ooh, 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 ooh. Give me that, give me that. So, there is a trophy for using the C4 and getting a kill. I'll sit here. Hey, I did it. Cool. Careful with that. That was for defeating an opponent with a remote bomb. And that should be everything. I think we killed everyone. Congratulations. Prepare for Moscow. Oh, complete level one, Los Angeles. Wait until Hollywood sees this. Next level. Oh, Sweet Tooth is here. This Warthog. Ah, oh, oh. Check out what I can do. Uh, defeat an opponent with a special weapon. Oh, okay. I didn't even think that hit. Oh, no. Sweet Tooth, go away. All right. There goes Sweet Tooth. One more opponent left, which is Hammerhead. Come on. Yeah, good stuff. Uh, uh, take that, Hammerhead. Woo! There's the teleportation pad. Is that going to work? Hey, there we go. And that should be... Hope these don't make me sick. Use a teleportation pad on any level. And we are now in Paris. Give me that hill. Give me, give me, give me. Oh, Water slick. Drive on water in Paris. Man, that was pretty easy. Let me get up there. No! Oh my god, he's got a twister move. That's why he's called Twister. Oh my god. Damn, bro. He's so OP. Twister is such a pain. Yeah, damn right. Get out of here. Man, what kind of move is that? That's ridiculous. So, I think... I'm going to get some help. Before we leave, I think... There is trophy. Enjoy the fine arts. Discover the museum in Paris. Hey, cool. All right, let's get this trophy out of the way with. There is one for driving in the lava. Firewalker. So now we're just going to finish up the level and then we can get to the next level. Last year's boss rises from the lava. I must win. Calypso and I have a score to settle. He yells that he comes after you for vengeance. Okay, so we have 
boss fight with minions. So this is like a mini boss, I'm guessing, because we're not near the end of the game yet. All right, let's get this. I'm going to get that health. I think I've gathered all the health before he has. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. Yeah, I'm almost dead. He's almost dead. Yes! One life. Defeated minion, the mini boss. Felt like a big boss though, my lord. Oh my god. Done. Defeated minion, the mini boss. Prepare for New York, the big leap. Hey, rematch thwarted in lava. Spitting through these levels and seeing the variety that Twisted Metal 2 had to offer, it was really cool. As expected, we did earn some trophies, but before we knew it, we were at the last level of the game. Finally, got rid of all of them. Now we've got the final boss. Dark Tooth, Sweet Tooth's father rises from the sewers. You killed my son, he shouts. I want my little clown boy back. Ooh, okay. Let's hope. Let's hope he's not too tough. Where is he? Oh, my. Look how big it is. Oh, no. Oh, man. Look how much health he's got. Oh, he's so strong. He just clapped me. Oh, this is going to be tough, dude. What is that? What was that? Oh, no. Come on. Do as much damage as I can. That one, that one worked, that one worked. Let's help, let's help. Oh, he's halfway, he's halfway. That's fine, I can lose a life, I don't mind. I don't mind. All right, he's almost dead, he's almost dead, he's almost dead. Come on, yes, yes, yes. Destroyed, done, yes. Oh, but wait, what is this? Inside the giant head, you see the shriveled figure of an old man. Heads up, you freak, the senile fool screams. No, that was hard enough. What's going on, what is this? What is that? Oh, that's the head from the, the the truck. Okay, I've lost like all my health. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That is not fine. It's not fine. <laughs> this is so dumb. <laughs> I can't hit him. He's just rolling around everywhere. Come on. He's almost dead. Come on. Oh, he's almost dead. He's almost dead. I'm almost dead. Oh, come on. Come on. Look how much health he has. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, he's almost dead. Yes. Yes, that worked. That worked. That worked. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, bro. No, come on. Oh, he's so close to dying. Come on. I just need one thing to hit. One more thing to hit. That missile hit. Yes, it hits. Yes. Oh, congratulations. You are the winner. Prepare to meet Calypso. Dark Flame in New York. Complete level 8. Hong Kong Crunch and defeat Dark Tooth. Man, that was so hard. Ah. Oh. Sweet freedom at last, and that was our ending for the winning prize as Roadkill. A man named Marcus Kane stepped out of his car and came face to face with me, the creator of Twisted Metal. They all call me crazy. They all say I'm insane. But I'm not. I know this isn't real. None of it is. I know it's all a dream. Please, Calypso, help me. Oh, Marcus, I always knew you would be the one to figure it out. I will grant your wish, but please, feel free to come back and visit us any time. For the rest of your friends will be here for quite a while. <laughs> Congratulations, you have won Twisted Metal. So, we have defeated Calypso with Roadkill. Now we're going to go through with all the other characters. I'm probably just going to breeze through all those, just because it's nothing too interesting. I might show the endings, because that was kind of cool. But we'll get through that now, and you'll see the last part where we'll get the Platinum Trophy, and then we'll move to Twisted Metal Black. The final character to defeat Dark Tooth. See if I can get my. Yeah, there we go. Done. Two specials. Look how much damage that did. That was crazy amount of damage. Easy. Easy money, man. Awesome. Congratulations. You are the winner. All right. And we get Mr. Grimm's backstory as well, which is pretty cool. Hey, reap what you sow for Mr. Grimm. And then. Gift of Calypso, the Platinum Trophy for Twisted Metal 2. I'm a bit of a junkie. Addicted to death. Every moment I am without a soul, I get weaker. My job is too hard. People, they have a tendency of not dying fast enough. Says whatever it takes to make them die faster. Ooh, that sound though reminds me of uh, Last of Us music. The loading screen's sick. So you got story, challenge, endurance. We have to do a trophy and challenge and a trophy endurance, I believe. 
but for the meantime, we'll do the story on easy. Uh, you got Sweet Tooth. Of course, we're going to pick Sweet Tooth. Okay, so this is the first level. Zorko's Bros. Scrap and Salvage. Let's do it. Oh, yeah, this is cool. Oh, what is going on? Okay, there's... Whoa, he turns into a mech. Oh. Oh, what? I got a trophy. Score hit with all 10 missiles of the Zoomy or Reticle weapons. That's so cool that he turns into a mech, though. The controls are definitely a lot harder to control than, like, number two and number one. I found number two was just the easiest, easiest to control. Before we get to the next scene, I just want to explain this collectible. In the US version, there should be a plane that was flying around the map. As for the power region, they have removed it for certain reasons. With a little bit of exploring and no videos from YouTube, it took us around 5-10 to 10 minutes. But don't worry though, the other collectibles don't take that long. After getting this one collectible, we had 7 more to go. They're all hidden in pretty good spots, but still pretty easy to find. So, I don't know if it's in here maybe, because I read somewhere that you have to go through a tunnel. I'm in the tunnel, but is this where I need to go? I'm so confused. Oh yeah, I see him. There's Yellow Jacket. Okay, okay, so I have found him. Ah, there you go. That's how you do it. Like father, like son. So that's for unlocking Yellow Jacket. And it was different to the US version because they've taken out the airplane for obvious reasons. Unlock Yellow Jacket. I had trouble with that. There's nowhere, like, there's nothing on YouTube to show where that is. Now we can go to the next part of the level. Oh, cutscene. Okay. Cool. Oh, that's sick. That's right. They've all got different cutscenes for each character. Oh, no. Oh, okay. So he's pretty much just obliterated my health already. So he's not too tough. He's just trying to get through that force field. He's got like a pose of fire. Special did quite a bit of damage. I don't know where there's any health or anything around here, though. All right. This should do it. This should kill him. Bar special. Yep. Cool. I thought that was going to be a little bit more difficult. That's fine. Okay, cool, cool. We did it. It's just getting through that force field what was tough. So after defeating Minion and a few days of grinding, I finally gave in. Yes, if you're aware, this game does have cheats and they don't disable trophies. I used one specific cheat to make it a lot easier for the playthrough. It was called God Mode, it gave you unlimited ammo and unlimited health. This just made it a lot easier to be able to go through the game 14 times with all the different characters. But before that grinds, we'll get to the final boss and then we'll get to the secret characters along with the collectibles in the game. Level 8. Okay, so this is the final level of the game. Is there another method, or am I just supposed to shoot him? I'm so confused. Okay, I think we're on the last leg here. I think we've got it. Two more hits. One, two, one more, one more, one more. Done. Warhawk is destroyed. A bloody finish for destroying or completing story mode with any character. After defeating the game, I decided to work on the secret characters. They were hidden pretty well, but still really fun to find. You had certain methods to get them down from certain places, or you had to go and find them in different areas. It really reminded me of the secret cars in the Simpsons Hit and Run game. So I figured it out, I watched a video, uh, I've just got to get myself into position. There we go, I shot it. So it will move the crane, and I believe Axel is in this box that is getting lowered down. Destroy it. There we go, and there's Axel. There you go. Out for revenge. And I believe that is for unlocking Axel. Cool. So we got two more secret characters to unlock. I'm just going off a of memory. I remember like someone jumping on the roof, which I just did correctly. Thank goodness. Go in here and that should unlock the secret character, Warthog. Sweet shades. Hidden trophy, unlock Warthog, 7.4%. All right, cool. And then we've just got one more, which is Calypso's Nemesis. I think... We go down here. This is a like an insane spot. Like you wouldn't think to look here if you were trying to find like collectibles or anything. You shoot that, go up here, shoot that. That will unlock. And this is a secret area that we need to go to. And then there he is. There's the man. And then congratulations. Calypso's nemesis. Manslaughter is now unlocked. Cool, 6.1%, and now let's get to the collectibles. So we've got to shoot this dude. So we shot him, I think, yep, so that's worked. 
now that we've destroyed that, we have this piece here. This will help us get to that ledge that is moving. Jump up. Uh, slow down. Nice. And there should be... There it is. The collectible that we need. Okay, cool. So that's our first black cube of the game. They will get a little bit harder. But I'm probably just going to like go through these right now without the camera. Just to make it a bit faster for the video. Explaining these collectibles a little bit better. The black cubes, I'm not really sure what the lore is behind Twisted Metal with these. But they've got them scattered around the maps. When you find one, it would unlock a character or unlock a map. It was a really nice touch for the game to add them. Give the player something else to do after they finish the game. As for the difficulty, they weren't too bad to what I thought. Except for this one. This one was horrible. I don't know why they thought this was a good idea. When do you have a car that platforms? Besides that, I actually really enjoyed looking for them. It was really rewarding when you could find one. Or you could get Darkseid to fall off the map. Yeah, that should do it. Done. Come on. Unlock, 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 unlock. Come on. Come on. Is this going to count? Yes! Oh, I was stressing a little bit, man. Beware. Unlock minion. With every character in the game, you have to finish the boss. Oh, we have unlocked. Oh, yes, bro. I was actually so scared that that was not going to pop. That took so long, man. That was like two days of straight grinding. Can you discover his secrets? So we've done the story. So what we need to do now is challenge and then endurance mode, which is fight an endless series of opponents using a single car. High score is zero because we haven't done it yet. So we'll just get straight into that. I think you can use cheats in challenge mode. So it shouldn't be too hard. Up, down, left, right, right, left, down, up. All right, invulnerable. So I won't be able to die now, which will make it a lot easier for us. There goes that. There goes that. <laughs> so much easier. Uh, Darkseid has just fallen to his death. This should pop. I don't think cheats will disable the trophies. It shouldn't because it's worked for us previously. You win. Hey, <laughs> hard fought victory. Um, that was pretty easy. Yeah, using cheats, win a challenge mode, match with the difficulty set to hard. So now we just need to unlock freeway, mini suburbs, and prison ship levels. So endurance. It's almost like waves of zombies, like waves of cars, I guess. You've just got to kill a certain amount of cars on the level to unlock the other level. It looks easy, which it really is. Like, obviously, just using cheats is just going to cheese the whole game. But just for the fact that you had to go through the story with every character 14 times i feel like it's pretty fair that i can use cheats that took absolutely forever it was a massive grind but i'm glad we got it done so we're on five kills now we're just probably going to skip to the i think the 10 that we need and then that should um get closer to what we need to unlock for the trophy we've got one more left cool so that is done ah homicidal tendencies okay i didn't have to get out of it it just unlocked straight away Unlock freeway, mini suburbs, and prison ship levels. Silver trophy. With our very last two trophies of the game, we had to go into co-op. We had to get a weapon to shoot a car, but we had to use all the missiles at once. Of course, we had to get a second controller and have the other controller idled. As for the last trophy, we just had to do some cheats, which was pretty easy. It's called the SAT. What this weapon does is almost like online missiles that will come in and hit the ground. Satellite. Ah, there it is. All right, so that's what it is. And then you need the, the character to sit still and then all the missiles to hit at once. Okay, so this should work. So that's going to go in. And that should hit. There we go. Maximum damage. There you go. Total carnage. Inflict maximum damage in one attack. Okay, excellent. And then we've just got one trophy left, which is Field Medic. Exchange your weapons for health, which we can do in co-op. Um, we might as well just do it now. There you go. Weapons for health. And then Field Medic, that is the final trophy for Twisted Metal Black, 100%. Man, what a grind. I am so happy we got that done. Oh, yes, dude. Yes, 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 yes. What a ride. We defeated Calypso, fought our way through his games, and unlocked many trophies along the way. Sure, Twisted Metal Black took longer than expected, but completing all three games was a huge nostalgia kick. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and let me know who your favorite character from the franchise was. If you want to watch another video of mine, click right here. But until next time, you look after yourselves. Stay safe.
Thank you.